Hello everyone, welcome once again. This is Mr. Kelvin from the Paul Austin Academy. I want to take you through English Standard 7. Our topic today will be direct and indirect speech. I'm sure you've come across this topic, but we want to see, get into deeper it, so we'll get to know what direct speech is and how it differs from indirect speech. Now, direct speech is a direct representation of the exact structures used by the speaker. In other words, these are the actual words spoken by the speaker. The way the speaker presents them, that is the way they are presented. That is what we call direct speech. And in the use of direct speech, the words spoken by the speaker are put inside the quotation marks, which we can also call the opening and the closing inverted commas, or you can call them the speech marks. So those actual words that were spoken by the speaker are the ones to be put inside the quotation marks. And outside the quotation marks, that can be either in the beginning of a sentence or after the, 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 the speech or the spoken words, you put the reporting verb. Now the reporting verb tells us who spoke those words. Now what about the indirect speech? So the indirect, uh, indirect speech, this now will be a report. It's a report, not the exact words, but a report of what was spoken by the speaker. So it's given by the third party of what the speaker said. You're going to realize that the direct speech is not the same as indirect speech. So in other words, they differ. Let us see some of the elements that differ in direct speech from the indirect speech. Number one, punctuation. The punctuation marks used in direct speech are not the same that will be used in indirect speech. For example, in the direct speech, we use quotation marks, which are not used in the indirect speech. Number two, personal pronouns. Personal pronouns will change. The personal pronouns used in direct speech are not the same that are used in the indirect speech. Another thing, the tenses, tenses will change, and also the verbs. Then finally, we have adverbials. So when I say adverbials here, I mean phrases that have adverbs. These are the kind of things that will change when you are giving statements in direct speech and changing them to indirect speech. You will realize that the punctuation marks that will be used there are not the same as I've given you an example. In the direct speech, you will be using quotation marks. So when you change such statements into indirect speech, you will not be having quotation marks. And also personal pronouns, tenses, verbs, and adverbs.